Hello and welcome to White Horse Music TV! My name is Richard Badina and I'm co-owner of this wonderful shop with my lovely wife Michelle Badina who's behind the camera there. Can you see her? No you can't because she's behind the camera. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm here today to introduce you to a couple of new cellos. Now we haven't done any of these videos for about two years because we've had a little munchkin in the meantime, a little boy called Elliot. He's very cute, you should meet him one day. Anyway, but um, yeah, back then I was thinking we were going to do video, uh, cello videos, but we never did. And so here's my chance. Um, so the two cellos that I'd like to start with are the wonderful, beautiful, magnificent Struna Master Series cello, in full size, there it is, and the wonderful, beautiful, magnificent uh, full size Gliga One cello. Now, first of all, I'll give them a bit of a play for you. This is the Gliga one. I might wind up the bow as well, because you know, it helps. Gosh, you have to be strong to play cellos. <laughs> okay, it's Trina Master Cello. So these are the two most popular cellos in this price range. Um, to start with, the, the Gliga is made uh, in the workshops of Vasil Gliga, who's a, a great cello and violin and viola maker. Um, they're made under, under his instructions to his specifications, so they use the, the varnish that he's specified and you know his stores of wood and that sort of thing. On the, fru uh, the front they use beautiful straight grained spruce and they have quite a sort of a matte finish. They use a German oil varnish so they import a, a varnish from Germany uh, and it's sort of a, you know a dull matte finish and it allows the wood to vibrate and make quite a sort of a mellow deep tone. They use beautiful maple on the back as well it's quite highly figured with the Gligas, there's a model three, two, and one, and then higher models above that. Um, this is the Gliga one, so it's you know they use quite nice wood and quite nice workmanship. Um, clunk, and then the Struna Master. It's quite a different looking cello actually. The Struna Master is a copy of um, copy of an antique cello, and so it looks really really old. And people quite often come into the shop and they say. Oh, where did you get that really old cello? And I say, well, actually, no, it's made in 2010. So, um, Struna, it's, uh, there's a, a German company which uh, they've set up a, a small workshop in China where they make these cellos. Um, if it was made in the German workshop, it would be, you know, it cost several times more than it does just because of the sheer amount of hand work that goes into the making of these. Uh, so it's got a beautiful oil varnish, um, similar to the Gliga, but antiqued finish, and also beautiful maple on the back. Um, okay, now with both of these cellos, they've been set up by myself at Whitehorse Music. Um, either of these cellos would sound like a, a dying cat if they weren't set up the right way. They come with horrible evil strings and horrible uh, a bridge which quite often is too flat, you can hardly play on the individual strings. Um, quite often the sound post isn't fitted properly and people have asked me, oh you know, why why do they send them along like that? Um, and the reason is because most of the specialty shops in, in Australia for instance have luthiers who will make all of those parts and if they send along good parts we'll just look at those good parts and um, you know, think, oh no, that's not the way I like it done, and throw out good parts. So they send along disposable parts, 
the strings they send along are worth you know less than a dollar for a set where the strings that most luthiers will use for instance these ones probably would add up to about three hundred dollars there's two um, helicore strings and two larsen strings made in germany the top two uh, and so, you know, they make an enormous difference to the sound. And then the French, the bridge that we use, um, the blank comes from um, France, uh, and it's, you know, fantastic maple, and we carve it um, to suit the individual cello. So they've both been set up to the hilt. We've even made new sound posts inside each one to make the sound as even as possible. So they just sound as good as they can. Now, getting down to the specifics of the sound of the two, the Gliga have been around for a long time and they, have known f they are known for their very nice, warm, mellow sound and they're enormously popular throughout Australia and throughout the US and all around the world. But I'll, I'll give it a little bit of a play. big um, in, a big uh, increase in volume from the Gliga 3 that uh, we sell a lot of um, yeah it's it's very full when you get onto the A string there it's slightly more um, thin and focused sort of a sound that's partially because I've used a Belgian style bridge on this one a lot of professionals will use a Belgian style bridge um, because they want the sound to be more penetrating um, a French style bridge that I've used on the Struna makes the sound warmer and rounder um, but a lot of professionals will want a stronger forceful sound on the A string. I'll play it one more time so you can hear the, the strength and forcefulness on the A string. <laughs> shoes to feel, big shoes to fill. Did you hear that, Gliga? It sounded good. Okay, now uh, let's see what the Struna sounds like. sounded a little bit more sort of ringing across the strings where the the Gliga was more like a flat mellow sort of a sound. Um, the, the Gliga and the Struna had a lot of depth in the bottom which is what makes them very popular cellos. Um, the Struna partially because of the bridge and partially because of the make of cello sounded a little bit sort of rounder and fuller on the A string. I'll play the A string a little bit more. <laughs> Sounds a bit like a choir of angels singing. If we had a higher budget, I would have bought in a choir of angels and we could have compared the sound of the Struna A string to the choir of angels. But unfortunately, working on a low budget, we can't afford to do that. Um, but anyway, the I, I guess the difference between the two maybe is the, the Struna has a bit more of a ring and a bit of a rounder sort of an A string sound where they both have sort of like this beautiful depth on the bottom which is you know pretty much what you want in cellos um yeah i think i've probably said just about all anyway thank you for listening